Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here and in this video, I am going to be teaching you how to make this cool thumbnail design inside of Canva. So are you ready? Let's dive straight into Canva. So before we get started with the design, what I want to say is with this particular design we are going to be making, um, let's say you are not looking at making um, a thumbnail for a podcast um, video or whatsoever, I will still teach you how to customize this and make it into you know any type of thumbnail design you are looking for so that in this case whether you are looking for a podcast thumbnail or any other thumbnail this video will be able to sort you out on that so let's dive into canva and let's get started okay so this is the design we are going to be making so all i'll just do is to click on a new page over here and you can see we have a blank canvas so the dimension for this um i do not know the dimension so the dimension is 12 80 by 720 that's um the dimension for a youtube thumbnail okay so first of all make sure your background color is black okay then come into photos okay and in photos just search for brick wall okay so brick wall okay because we are going to start with the background and we move forward to all of that so you can see we have so many options i can choose this you know this is not what i use but i can still go in with this and i just choose replace background okay then i'll select it and i'll come to transparency then transparency i'll reduce it a little bit because i do not want it to be so obvious you understand then the next thing we are going to be doing is to search for our subject okay our subject images which is the two people you saw in here okay so in my case i would still be in photos but i'll close the search over here for the brick walls then i'll go into my recently used um, photos so you can just add any image you are going to be working with but in my case i'm going to be using the same images i used so i will just scroll down you know just a little bit to find them and these are the two images i use so i just select the two of them okay you can see very nice and very cool so i will position this guy here and i would lift him up a little bit and position this one also over here and lift him up a little bit and you'd want to make sure that the height okay should be the same so that your design would look natural then the next thing you and i would have to do is to remove the background of these images so i select the first image come to edit image and select bg remover then i select the second one and do the same for it bg remover so while the background of our images are being removed i want to use this opportunity to tell you about canva pro and the assorted canva template so if you're looking at doing more inside of canva when it comes to removing background images when it comes to publishing canva designs directly from canva to any social media platforms when it comes to adding more brand kit inside your canva to be able to work with multiple clients when it comes to resizing your canva design to any dimension of your choice then canva pro is the best option for you so because i want you to try it i have a link in the description box below that would help you to use canva pro for free so why not check out the link in the description box below and the other thing i want to talk to you about is the assorted canva template these are 20 easy to edit templates i have created for you you have five carousels and 15 poster template you can use on the go so check it out the link is in the description box below so yes let's dive back into canva to resume with our design so you can see the background images of our photos have been removed successfully and our design is also saved and you'd always have to make sure that your design is saved so i'll click on apply and i would crop these ones okay so just like this click this and you know we're just going to position this one here and this one also over here so you can see how they are all looking cool but uh, there's a particular theme i want us to follow with the whole dark team we have in our background i wanted to reflect on these images so i click on this guy you know with a big smile and i will just come into filters okay in filters just scroll all the way down you see street or there's grayscale you can choose any of them but grayscale eh -eh, not the best street looks dope you understand then select this one and also choose street okay so you can see how they are all looking very beautiful so i select the two and drop them down a little bit then with the next thing we have to do is to add some light elements which um you wouldn't find in canva so what you would have to do is you would have to visit the elements.theafricangeeks.com and search for light okay once you find it download it and drop it inside of canva then we can resume with the tutorial so in my case i will come to uploads because i already have it in canva and i will just scroll down okay to find it so here we go this is the element i was talking about and what we are going to do is we are going to increase the size of it okay then we'll position it here 
so you can see how i place it on his face as if he's looking like an angel but he's no angel so i click on edit image in edit image we are going to be using the dual tone effect so click on dual tone we have so many options don't worry just choose any of them okay so we have highlight and shadows highlight is going to focus on the brighter part of the element while shadow focuses on the darker part of the element but in this case you know it looks like this is just full of brighter parts so even if you choose black for example you understand it rather pops out the bright side more so we'll go to the highlight and we are going to choose red for this okay and maybe just come to shadow and choose red instead of the black okay so that everything is just one color you understand then click on apply and make sure your design is saved one eternity later okay so once your design is saved click on your element and click on edit image again click on it again <laughs> okay then come to adjust in adjust come to see all and increase the blurriness of it you understand then right click and send it to the back so you can see how we have a very cool effect over here duplicate it and bring it also over here okay just on his face right click and send it to the back so you can see what we have but you will realize that the space we have here wouldn't take our text because our text should be big enough so i select the two okay and move it to the side select this one also and move it to the side okay okay so let's do let's make sure everything's looking okay okay so this is actually looking cool but you realize the shoulders of this guy is too high so i'll drop him down a little bit okay i think this is okay yeah okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to press t on my keyboard for text okay and we have this text over here so i'll increase the size and position it here so what i'm just simply going to say is i'm going to use the same text so live um chat okay what did i put live talks but i'll just say live chat over here so i increase the size come over here and i'm going to use any font at all not any font at all i'm going to use you know poppins but you can use any font at all it just needs to match the vibe okay so live then i duplicate the live position it here and i can just put chat okay to live chat so we have this cool um chat over here i drop it i move it this way select the two okay and i think i would want this to be this way so i rather select these two okay again move it all the way to the side okay and i'll do the same for this okay so that we can have this you understand very cool but i would bring him to the front okay so that um, it makes it look very interesting this way you understand okay so now select this text come to effect in effect choose shadow in shadow we are going to choose the color black okay then what we are going to do is to increase the blurriness you understand to 36 we do the same thing for this come to shadow shadow increase the blurriness to 36 and we are going to change the color to black okay so that we have something cool like this then what we are going to do is to press r on our keyboard hey sorry we will not r press rather c okay because um we are going live okay then you can just drop it here i'll change the color to white okay and i would you know duplicate it reduce the size a little bit then change the color to red so you can see how this but the two is, is looking too big i'll reduce it more so this is what we have at the moment okay so now that we have this it will be very interesting to add the names of these two people so i'm just going to press r on my keyboard again okay then i will drop it down this way then i will should move it here something like this pull this all the way out duplicate it okay and i will do the same for this okay so now it will be nice to let us know who is the host and who is the guest okay so i press t on my keyboard for some text and i think this is even looking too big so yeah something like this is cool and i would just say mark anthony okay i don't know who mark anthony is but um a n t h o n y mark anthony and it looks like i do not know how to use text <laughs> okay so mark what's what's happening to me mark anthony yeah so mark anthony wherever you are a big shout out to you so i will select all of this come here and select the poppins medium i just like poppins because of the varieties it has you know because uh, usually when you have text like that it makes it easier for you to use okay then i would you know drop it like this duplicate this one okay and you can see what i'm doing 
I would first of all change the color so that it's obvious. Then I should zoom into the design. Okay, move it here. And I would move oh, what's happening. And I'll move this one over here like this. Then all I'm going to do is I'll duplicate this text and just say host. Okay, because he's the host. So the host should always be on the left. You know, I don't know, but it makes it easier because we all read from the left to the right. So that's how it's going to be. So this is going to be the host. Then we select everything over here. So select the text, press and hold shift, select this, select that, select this one as well. Then duplicate it. Okay. And um, it looks like I have to delete this. Okay. Then let's do that again. Select everything. And we are going to just move it here. Okay, so let me use my arrow key, nice one, and I will move this text all the way here. Okay, and let me just crop this one also this way and move this one over here. Then we can just see maybe Gordon Smith. Okay, Gordon Smith. That's it. I think it's nice how I'm able to come up with names so easily. <laughs> yeah, then I just move this here. And since he's the guest, I will just change this to guest. Okay, so you can see what we have over here. But I think one way to make this very interesting is adding the microphone. So we'll come into photos. In photos, just search for microphone. This microphone is cool. Okay, but let me just show you. Just search for mic. No, I think what I'd rather do is I'll select this one first. Okay, then you just search for mic. Okay. So we have so many options over here you can see you can choose any of them at all but there's one thing we are going to do to this microphone you see everything has red and a black okay so just to add that touch to this particular image i would come to edit image okay and i will come to adjust and adjust slide the tint all the way to the red area okay so that we can have a touch of red to it okay and i will crop this so that i can make it bigger okay yeah no it shouldn't be too big because if the microphone is too big, it looks funny. Okay, so something like this, just to you know have the chat, um, you know, feeling to it that this is going to be a live chat. So, so this is how you are going to make your design if it's just going to be for um, a podcast. But let's say you are making a thumbnail for some other video and not a podcast, um, you know, video. So I will duplicate this. Okay, so duplicate, and in duplicate, I would maybe keep one of them i can take this guy out okay and delete all of this and one thing about thumbnails is because we read from the left to the right it's always advisable to have your text to the left you understand in the image of the person to the right so that whenever someone sees it it's easier for the person to absorb whatever is written on your you know on your thumbnail so that's what we are going to be doing in this one also okay all right so i will select this whole guy over here and i'll move him here okay then maybe select live chat over here but let's say we are making a design for business you understand so i can just say um top let me just do this top okay. oh what am i doing top five okay business okay then we will just crop this one over here so top five select the two and maybe we'll just a little bit okay Top five bu business tips. Okay. So we'll put this one over here and this one also over here. You understand? Then I can increase this a little bit and I can just take this out and position this one maybe somewhere here. Okay. Select all and see maybe top five business tips. Maybe to grow online. Okay, so to grow, to grow online. Okay, so this is some cool, um, you know, thumbnail you can actually have for your design. But because we do not want to have a lot of text, this would be minimal. Okay, because the main thing is the top five business tips. So I can put this over here. Or you can also leave it at the bottom, any how you want it. So top five can be read, okay, so that we're able to grab the attention because top five, you know, that's what's going to hit, you understand? So yeah, so we'll move this one over here, select this and select that, okay? And um, this should go behind the guy, the shape should go behind the guy, and we can just 
do it this way so that everything looks like this and you can see how this is really looking a very cool um thumbnail you can actually use for your video so yes i hope you found this tutorial very helpful in terms of what we've been able to do just in case you're looking for more canva tutorials like this what i'll need you to do is to hit on the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it and i would also would appreciate it if you hit on the like button to help this video reach more canva designers out there the name is benjamin don't forget to check out canva pro and the assorted canva template there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video